Squarespace 7.1 was released to the public in early 2020 and is built on a new premise, which um, I personally really love. All of my new client websites will be built on Squarespace 7.1. And one of the biggest changes that Squarespace made was the ability to edit individual sections of each page on your website. And they um, now have the pages built based on um, just stacking multiple sections onto one page. So if we're here on this demo site, we can see that this website starts with some introductory text. Um, we've got some text here, um, a large photo, um, a service summary, and we've got a photo, um, a call to action, and then our site footer. Before, we would have to edit um, the site as um, one big site. We couldn't change individual sections without using some custom code, but that has all changed. So on your website, you may feel like you want different sections to be different heights, different widths. You may want to rearrange the sections and Squarespace has just made that really easy for you. So to change the style or um, colors and settings of the sections on your site, you're going to choose the page you want to edit. In this case, we're on the home page, and then come up to edit in the top left-hand corner. And as you move your mouse around the page, you'll see the different sections of your website. It's going to highlight them basically with a blue box, and then each section is going to give you a pencil icon, as well as some arrow choices. And so we're just going to dive in and, and edit a few of these sections to demonstrate how easy this is to do. Um, let's start by um, maybe the fact that we want to move the services sections up above this photo. And before that would have been a really complicated process, but now when I'm, um, when I have the services section selected, I'm just going to click on the up arrow, and now that section is above the photo. Very easy, and of course, you can do the same thing with the down arrow. Now, this section, um, the content is very, um, it's nice, it's centered in the center of the section, but let's say I wanted that to stretch out and really fill the space here on the sides. If I click on the pencil, I have um, really three different formatting options here and the first one being the height of the section itself so if i thought this section was a little too tall and i really wanted to condense that i could change the section height to small and you can see that it changed the height of the section um, and then I could also change the width over here to large um, to really kind of fill up that space a little bit more. Now they have the content centered um, in, the, in the box and I think that looks great as well. Um, so I think I'm happy with the format here, but then I can click over to background and right now, of course, this is just set to be um, a solid color background, but I could easily change that to be an image in the background. So if I wanted to do that, I could either click the arrow here to choose an image from my computer, or I could click on search images and make the background a photo. So um, this will look horrible, but that's okay. I'm just gonna demonstrate how this feature works. So it's going to take a second and it's going to make the background of that section be a photo instead of the, um, the solid color. Now, obviously that doesn't look good with our text, but you get the point. Um, we can also change this to an inset, which is going to add some margin around the photo. And in this case, we can do some overlay that would make our text easier to read, but we still have that nice photo in the background. So we have a lot of different options just right here on the home page. We don't have to go to the design menu. Really easy to customize your site. The last option here is for colors. Now, because we have the image here, this doesn't apply as much, but um, we could choose from any one of our theme colors and very quickly change the background um, of our section if we did not have the image here, but the image is overriding the section right now. So that is how you can format your um, section height your content width or alignment, um, your background photo or colors, and um, 
you can also dive in a little bit deeper if you want to go somewhere in between the small, medium, and large options. You can click here on the ellipses and then you can manually adjust the height based on maybe the amount of content that you have. So that is how to change the format of the individual sections in your Squarespace 7.1 site. Again, moving the sections up and down, or of course, deleting the entire section as well. So um, in that case, we just click the trash can and we can take that entire section off of the site. So have fun customizing your new 7.1 website. And when you're finished, be sure to save your changes and then your new um, layout will be complete. Are you looking for more resources to help your nonprofit grow its reach and impact? Unlock my free nonprofit resource library that includes exclusive workbooks, templates, and training videos to help you tell more people about the incredible work you are doing. Just go to 19design.net to get your access right now. Until then, keep making a great first impression online.